I'm Chloe from the Wix Design Studio. In this tutorial, I'll show you how a design expert uses the Wix editor to create an entire strip-based website with multiple design effects. You can use this technique for any kind of website, but it's especially great for a designer studio, production agency, or product showcase. I'll add the scroll effects, parallax, reveal, and zoom in to each strip. Then I'll show you how to add a video strip, an autoplay video box, and a full-width slideshow with a static element layered above. Finally, I'll add some smooth animation effects to text and other graphic elements. So, let's get started. First, I'll open the Wix editor and start with a blank page. I always start with saving and naming my site, so it'll auto-save in the future. To add the first strip, I'll go to Add, Strip, and drag it into place. I'll adjust the size to 1080 and change the strip image. I'll use an image I created in Photoshop and click Change Background. Now I'll duplicate the yellow background strip and position the Y axis to 1080. Then I'll change the strip background to purple. Next, I'll duplicate the yellow strip and place it in the exact same position. I'll change the background to a 3D image exported on a transparent background. Next, I'll duplicate the image strip and position the Y axis to 1080 so it's exactly aligned with the strip above. I'll change strip background to an image and choose a different 3D image that has the same relative position. Lastly, I'll go to Settings to add a reveal scroll effect to each strip. In preview mode, you can see the reveal scroll effect creates a smooth transition between the strip backgrounds and the images. Next, I'll create a full width video strip with a parallax scroll effect. I'll add a video strip and adjust the height to 1080. I'll change strip background and click video to add my own. Under settings, I can add the scroll effect parallax. Now I'm gonna create an autoplay video box. Start by adding a color strip, change the height to 850, and change strip background to purple. On top of this, I'll go to interactive to add a box slideshow as my video container. I'll go ahead and delete the other two slides change the slide background to a video, and delete the pre-made content. Under Layouts, I'll turn off Show Navigation Arrows and Show Slide Buttons. Lastly, I'll set the height to 405 and the Y position to 3447. Next, I'll create a full-width slideshow with a static 3D image layered above. To start, I'll go to Interactive and add a full-width slideshow. I'll delete all the pre-made content and delete Slide 2 and 3. I'll change the background color to yellow and duplicate this slide, but change the background color to purple. Next, I'll add a classic strip above the slideshow and reduce the opacity to zero and drag it right on top of the slideshow. I'll add an image with a transparent background and attach it to the strip, then change the height to 450. In preview mode, you can see that the slideshow auto plays in the background while the image remains static on top. But I want to make this page even more dynamic, so I'll add a video strip and change its height to 1080. I'll change the strip background to a video and add a zoom in scroll effect. So now we're done creating an entire website using strips. Now let's add a bit of text and animation to bring the site to life. Before I add text, I'll right click the top image strip and click send to back so I can attach my text to the background strip. I'll go to add text and choose large heading and customize it to suit my needs. Under tools, I can add rulers to help adjust the position of my text. Now that the text is where I want it, I can send this strip to the back so my image will overlap the text and back strip. I'll go through and add more text to my site and customize it. This part is pretty intuitive, and I recommend going through and trying it yourself on your own website. You can even upload your own fonts. It's pretty fun. I also want to add two text buttons that will be fixed to their position. So after creating the button design, I'll right click and select pin to screen and set the position to center left. I can refine their position by using the horizontal and vertical offset sliders.
In preview mode, you can see the button react on hover. Now I'll use text and shapes to create my own logo and attach a social icon bar to my header. I'll click Set Social Links to choose which icons I want to delete and click Replace Icon to choose which ones I want to add. Then under Layouts, I'll adjust the icon size and spacing. I'll go ahead and add text to the other strips on my site. For the slideshow, I'll attach text to the slides so they move together. Then I'll finish adding text and shapes to the rest of my site and customize. In preview mode, you can see how all the strips play together. To finish up, I'll show you how to animate text. I'll click on the text, select Animate, and choose the animation I want. I'll choose Slide In and customize it to appear from top. I'll go through and do the same process for all the text. You can customize the animation style, duration, and delay that you'll use for your website. Try out a few different options and see how they play well together. Lastly, I'll also add another social bar. Replace the icons to match the ones I used on the top of the page, and set their size and position. So that's it. Let's check out the final results. Here's my strip-based website with parallax scrolling, video, and animation design effects. It's looking good, even if I do say so myself. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun, and we'll see you in the next one.